Trying to stay upright, and he trips. Where the Jets, for the second straight week, have a chance to make a statement in the division. And Picked up by Garrow. He tries to throw a pass. Deflected in the air, grabbed by Bass. No, this is, this is risky. It is, oh, my goodness. Blocked indeed. Surveying. Escapes. And oh. throws it right in the... <laughs> well, he put a new center in the game. From hilarious mishaps to jaw-dropping blunders, the league has seen its share of notable bloopers that have both pleased and confused fans. Here are some of the biggest bloopers in NFL history. In my life, watch this, Vince Wilfork is gonna throw. With Green positioned as the plunging pack, fullback Lex Hilliard was positioned alongside Sanchez. Hilliard sprinted by Sanchez as he made the unintentional shift to the left after taking the snap. Sanchez scurried toward the line of scrimmage, hoping to salvage the broken play. Right guard Brandon Moore was trying to block defensive lineman Vince Wilfork during this time to advance the play, and the two of them were locked together at the 32-yard line. Unaware of his own location or that of his lineman, Sanchez slipped to defend himself. Sanchez struck Moore in the rear as a result, causing him to lose his balance and the ball as soon as he began to slip. The ball bounced out to the right side of the play, close to the 32-yard line, right in front of Gregory, whose last recovery set up Vereen's touchdown. Sanchez went to the ground, and Moore fell on top of him. Gregory secured a scoop-and-score touchdown by using his fingers to catch the ball and sprinting unnoticed into the Jets' end zone. Here comes Jared Allen, and he's out of bounds. Poor guy. Dan Orlovsky, the Lions quarterback, received the ball and ran out of the Minnesota end zone. The fact that Orlovsky was obviously unaware of his location on the field while being pursued by Jared Allen made the play unforgettable. Despite being out of bounds, Orlovsky continued rolling right to create a play. It took him about 10 sprinting steps before he realized what he had done and slowed down. Has secured the football. Donovan McNabb took the snap and threw it to Deshaun Jackson, who caught a deep pass and sprinted into the end zone for what seemed to be a touchdown. But before he crossed the goal line, he threw the ball carelessly behind him, leaving it at the one-yard line while he celebrated. Baltimore, 82 yards then, second to Tua Tangabailoa tried to throw a pass, but the ball slipped from his hand, causing a costly fumble in the first quarter. He later attempted to recover the ball, and Elijah Molden tried to take it, but couldn't as the ball rolled forward. As the ball was complimentary, all the other opponent players jumped to recover it. On. Trying to stay upright, and he trips! In the third quarter, Jones received the snap and made a calculated run almost the whole length of the field, appearing to be heading straight to the end zone. However, it turned out to be fake hand play as Jones began to stumble near the 30-yard line and ultimately tripped, landing at the Philadelphia 8-yard line where the Jets for the second straight week have a chance to make a statement in the division. And Braden Mann was set for the opening kickoff when he slipped and lost his balance, allowing the ball to roll ahead. Mann did make the kick, but it only went 15 yards, giving the Bills excellent field position. Picked up by Garrow. He tries to throw a pass. Deflected in the air, grabbed by Bass. Garrow Yapremian entered the game to try a field goal from 42 yards out. Bill Brundage of the Redskins blocked his left-footed kick, causing the ball to bounce before Yapremian recovered it. The kicker appeared scared and twisted up robotically as he attempted to toss the ball right-handed, but Yapremian whiffed and the football slipped out of his fingers and shot straight up into the air. Though Yapremian tried to catch his own fumble, the ball clanked off his hands awkwardly, and Washington defender Mike Bass grabbed it, reducing the Miami advantage by half as he sprinted into the end zone. Oh, this is, this is risky. It is after punter Thomas Morstead bizarrely kicked the ball off a teammate, the Miami Dolphins defense held again and stopped Josh Allen and the Bills at the goal line. He punted the ball off wide receiver Trent Sherfield's behind, causing it to go out of bounds and resulting in a Buffalo Bills safety. Surveying, escapes, oh. and throws it right in Wentz attempts to throw a shovel pass over linebacker Aziz Ashair's head as the Colts have a second and goal from the four-yard line. Instead, defensive tackle Cantavius Street knocks the ball out of Wentz's hands and into Al Shair. Colts quarterback Carson Wentz was under pressure from 49ers defensive end Nick Bossa, and linebacker Aziz Al Shair intercepted the throw and returned it 12 yards. <laughs> well, he put a new center in the game.
With a few minutes remaining, the Steelers were down 33-3. After the play was called with the ball on their own 25-yard line, the team moved, but the ball was never snapped. Center B.J. Finney never hiked the ball, and as a result, all of the offensive line moved except for Finney. The most entertaining aspect of the game is when the referee calls false start, offense. I thought you said on one. False start, offense. All the linemen except for the center. All the linemen except for the center. It's a five-yard penalty. We replay the second down. Denver Broncos center Manny Ramirez snaps the ball over quarterback Peyton Manning's head on the opening play of Super Bowl 48. Manning was positioned in the shotgun, and Manny Ramirez's snap blew over his right shoulder and into the end zone. Fortunately, no Sean Moreno, the running back, recovered the ball for the Broncos, reducing the damage to two points. With just a few seconds left in the game, Chris Boswell, the kicker, had his chance to score a 40-yard field goal. He blew it, which is unfortunate for the Steelers. As time ran down, Boswell stumbled just before kicking the ball, which the Raiders comfortably blocked and stunned the Steelers with an astonishing victory. These embarrassing moments can make people chuckle and find it hard to believe what happened, but they also serve as a sobering reminder of how unexpected sports can be and how much the human aspect still defines the game.